In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a comprehensive finance tracker using Notion. Whether you're looking to manage your personal finances or track your business expenses, this Notion template will help you stay organized and gain valuable insights. So let's dive right in. To get started, let's create a new page in Notion for our finance tracker dashboard. We'll set up the layout and structure later on. Set text to small text and make the layout full width. This will make our setup as more space. Add page icon to make it more visually appealing. First, create a page for database. All database for our financial tracker will be stored in this page. Now it's time to create a database for our accounts. This will help us keep track of all our financial accounts in one central place. Add the database title and icon. Delete this property because we don't use it. Now, create a default template for our new account. Whenever we create a new account, the format will be the same. So we don't need to tweak every time we create an account. For example, now create an account. The icon will be automatically changed as per our template. Now create a property for the initial amount of money in my account. You can add as many accounts as you want. This is our initial setup for account database. We will revisit it again to make it more detailed and functional later on. One essential aspect of tracking our expenses is categorizing them. In this section, we'll create a database specifically for spending categories. This will help us analyze where our money is going and make informed decisions. Now, create a new database. Add a title and relevant icon. Delete this property because we don't use it. Now, create the spending categories such as food, utilities, house, rent, etc. Add a relevant icon for each category. Add a property for the spending budget amount for each category. You can choose whatever currency you are using. Set the spending budget amount. We will revisit this database later on to make it more functional. Next, 
we'll create a database specifically for tracking our income. This will allow us to monitor and analyze our various income sources. Add a title and relevant icon. Delete this property because we don't use it. Now, create a default template for our new income source. Let's add a new income source. Add a property for the amount of income we get. Create a date property to track when the income stream deposited in our account. You can change the name property as you like. Add a text property to give a note to our income stream. Create a relation property to give a relation to our income stream for which account it belongs to. Choose which account is related with a monthly income property. Create a new database for our expense tracker. Managing expenses is a vital part of maintaining a healthy financial life. Delete this property because we don't use it. Create a default expense template. The step is the same as previous section. Add a new expense. Create a property for the total amount of expense. Now, create a relation property to categorize the expense. Select the relevant category. Create a relation property to link the expense to which account. Add a file and media property to upload any record for the expenses.
You can also add text property to add notes to the expense. Don't forget to add date property to track our expenses. Now, you now can record as many expenses as you like. Next, create a new database for the transfers record. When we transfer funds between different accounts, it's crucial to keep track of those transactions. Create a default new transfer record template. Add a sample new transfer record. Add a date property to track the transfer of money in and out. Create a property to record the amount of money being transferred. Create relation properties to link between accounts who transfer the money and who receive the money. Create a new database for the recurring payments, such as subscriptions or bills, that we need to track. We'll set up the necessary properties and fields to ensure we never miss a payment and maintain control over our finances. Delete this property because we don't use it. Create a select property to choose whether the subscription is active or inactive. Add a select property again to choose whether the subscription is billed monthly or yearly.
add a number property to record the cost of our subscription. Next, we need to create a formula property to make all the cost is changed to monthly bill. As usual, create a default template for the recurring payment. Now create a sample subscription payment. Next, create a goal database. This database is used to record all financial goals that we want to achieve. Add database title and icon. Delete this property because we don't use it. Create a number property to set the amount of money for our goals. Again, create a number property to set our initial money deposited in our financial goals. Create relations for transfer and accounts to know which accounts is transferring funds to the financial goals. Create a roll-up property to record the amount of money deposited to our financial goals. Now, create a default template for our financial goals. So whenever we create a new financial goals, the format and icon will be uniform. For example, you can create financial goal like this. We will revisit this database and do some detailed settings later on. In this section, we will do more detailed settings to make the account database more functional. Now, we will edit the new account template to add some sections. These sections contain income, expense, and transfer records. By creating this, we can have financial reports specifically for each account.
Now, we need to copy the database link for each income, expense, and transfer record. Filter the database to only show the new account. This will allow it to only show the data of the specific account. Repeat this process for the remaining sections. We can also update the account page that we have created before to have the same format as the account template. Now this account has the income, expense, and transfer record section same as the account template. The data is also filtered specifically only for this particular account. You also can update the other accounts with the same process. Now, add a Rala property to get the total income for each account. Do the same for the total expense. We need also to track the amount of money that are transferred out and transferred in. So, we can add another roll-up property for the transfer. Next, we need to create a formula property to calculate the current balance of each account. The formula will be the sum of initial money plus total income plus total transfer in, minus by the total expense, and total transfer out.
Next, to check the functionality of our database, let's check it out by filling some sample data. For example, I create other income stream from other account. Now, let's add some expenses. Let's also check our transfer database. For example, I send some money from my bank account to my wife's account. I also deposit some money to the emergency fund. Now, you can see, on the Goals database, the money that I deposited is shown here. Let's add Rolla property to know which account is sending some money to our Goals. We don't know how much money that is deposited for our goals. So, let's create formula property to get the current amount of money that is deposited. Let's also create other formula to get the progress of our goals. Our databases are good to go. To ensure easy navigation throughout our finance tracker, we'll create a navigation panel. In this section, I'll show you how to set up the panel in Notion and link it to different pages and databases. A well-organized navigation system will save you time and make it effortless to access different sections of your finance tracker. Create a new pages for account management. Next, create income page. Continue the same process to create expense, transfer, subscription, and goals pages.
Now copy this panel and paste on each page that we have created. Do the same process for the other pages. Copy the Finance Tracker template link to create home link. So whenever we click this link, we will be redirected to the home or dashboard page. Next, let's setting up our account page. In this page, we can see the overview of our finance accounts. We also can add new account and manage them. First, Copy the account database link. Then, paste the link on the account page. Now we have the database view of our account. Change the view to gallery view. We can hide the property that we don't want to see. Let's continue to set up our income page. Copy and paste the income database link to the income page. Add filter to show only income record within this month. Add another database view and group it based on month. You can show or hide properties that you want to see.
add another database view to show all history or record of income transaction. Repeat the same process for our expense page. Next, let's set up our transfer page. Basically, the processes are the same. We are now setting up our subscription page.
you can filter out only active subscription is shown. With the same steps, let's set up our goals page. Next, we need to set up our spending budget. This can be managed on the category database. But, first we need to add several properties on the expense database. To make our finance tracker to be easier to access and view, let's create dashboard view.
Now, our finance tracker is fully functional and ready to use. Thank you for watching today's video on creating a Notion template for a finance tracker. I hope you found it informative and useful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any specific requests for future videos or any feedback, please let me know in the comments below. Until next time, have a great day and happy organizing.